The best engine oil for your car is proven by taking the top brand motor oils, having them face off in a 16 round elimination tournament, as we'll find out which engine oil provides the best protection in many aspects, such as engine wear. Also, the code pour test, proving which engine provides the most protection at startup. As you know, over 75% of engine wear occurs at startup and the NOAC volatility test. This one's very important, especially for people with GDI or direct injection engines. You can see here we have Mobile One versus Mag One. And yes, this is probably one special exception. I've heard many people start this myth. And is it actually true that this Mag One conventional provides the most protection? Guys, I would never have it face off versus Mobile One, a full synthetic motor oil. But there's been a lot of talk going around and I just want to put this to rest. Either way, I figure let's give it a try. Many people have asked for it and now it's finally here. So you'll see the Mobile One full synthetic. Can this conventional motor oil actually provide more protection? Guys, I definitely have my doubts. but we're about to begin the Copor test. So it's finally here, the moment of truth. Who wants it most, Mobile One or Mag One? You can tell this is definitely gonna be a tight race. Unbelievable, Mobile One wins by over one and a half ounces in the Coldport test. Can Mag One actually knock them out of the tournament? Starting off with a win in the NOAC volatility test? Well, they definitely have the work cut out for them. Mobile One starts the NOAC volatility test with two pounds, 1.6 ounces. Now we'll allow it to run in this coffee maker, which is actually around the same engine operating temperatures. I know it's not the most scientific test, but you'll see that some of the machines that's used for the particular testing run at a similar temperature. Now, here we are after running it for 24 hours, and you'll see that we have two pounds, 1.1 ounces. Mobile One loses 0.5 ounces in the NOAC volatility test. Will that actually be better than the MAG-1? You can see the MAG-1 starts off the NOAC volatility test with 2 pounds 1.6 ounces. Now we'll run it for 24 hours in the coffee maker as well. MAG-1 is finished with the NOAC volatility test. It's time to weigh the oil, 2 pounds 0.6 ounces. It would appear Mobile One has dominated MAG-1 thus far, and it comes down to the wear test. The one test 
I've heard a lot of myths about. Can Mag One's conventional oil overcome Mobile One? I always check the accuracy of the scale by using the calibration weights. We start off by weighing the mobile one bearing before the test, 16.50 grams. Let's pull it off and weigh our mag one bearing. Sixteen point four seven grams. We're getting close to finding out the hype that surrounds Mag One motor oil is actually well deserved. Mobile One bearing after the test, 16.49 grams with a loss of 0 0.01 grams. Here we have the Mag One bearing. Sixteen point four one grams for the Mag 1 bearing. Well, let's take a closer look at this, guys, and we'll include the efficiency test as well. Mobile 1 wins the efficiency test by having 0.15 amps less than the Mag 1. The Copor test, also Mobile 1 wins with 1.5 ounce lead in the Copor test. No active volatility test, Mobile 1 crushes the competition. The film strength test, Mobile One wins by 0 0.05 grams. You can see that Mobile One has advanced to the next round of the tournament. Guys, check out the wear scars and tell me what you think which oil is best. Thanks for watching.